हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर टीचर रोजी एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर एटीएम हैज द फैक्टर्स वन टू थ्री सिक्स नाइन एटीन एंड ट्वेंटी फोर हैज द फैक्टर्स वन टू थ्री सिक्स एट ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी फोर Rosy man has the set of factors on the board. The common factors are 1, 2, 3 and 6. Teacher Rosy explains further by dividing 18 and 24 by 2 to get 9 and 12. She divides further by three to get three and four. Rosimam now multiplies these factors. Two into three into three equals eighteen, and two into three into four equals twenty-four. Multiply two by three, and you get six. So. The HCF is six. Thank you, ma'am. Recap. Teacher Rosie is in the class for a recapitulation session. She writes three into seven is equal to twenty-one. She explains that three and seven. Are factors of twenty-one. The product of these factors is twenty-one. She now writes twenty-eight divided by four is equal to seven. In this case, four and seven are factors of twenty-eight because. The product of the divisor and quotient is equal to the dividend. Rosie Ma'am now writes six equals one into six, and this is equal to two into three. She explains that factors. In this case, are one, two, three, and six. We'll remember this, Rosie Ma'am. Test for divisibility. Teacher Nancy is here to tell us about how to check whether a number is divisible by another number. She writes the first rule that a number is divisible by ten if its last digit is a zero. Examples are. 20 40 etc the next rule is that a number is divisible by 2 if its last digit is a 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 examples are 30 22 14 etc a number is divisible by 5 if its last digit is either 0 or 5 for example 50 and 65 A number is divisible by three if the sum of its digits is divisible by three. For example, two hundred and thirty-one adds up to six. Three divides six two times. A number is divisible by six if it is divisible by both two and three. Example is forty-eight. Two divides forty-eight, and three also divides forty-eight completely. A number is divisible by nine if the sum of its digits is divisible by nine. An example is one hundred and fifty-three. One, five, and three add up to nine, and nine divides nine once. Prime and composite numbers. Teacher Nancy is writing the factors of numbers on the board.
The factors of 2 are 2 and 1. This is a prime number. The factors of 5 are 5 and 1. This is also a prime number. Similarly, the factors of 7 are 7 and 1. And this too is a prime number. Nancy Ma'am now writes the factors of 9. These are 1, 3 and 9. This is not a prime number, but is called a composite number. And now, she writes the factors of 10. These are 1, 2, 5 and 10. So, this is also a composite number. We've understood, ma'am. Prime Factorization Teacher Rosie is here to explain prime factorization. She writes 9 into 2 equals 18. She now breaks down 9 into its factors 3 into 3. So, she writes 2 into 3 into 3 equals 18. These are prime factors. She now puts 96 equals 2 into 48 on the board. This means 2 into 2 into 24. This may also mean 2 into 2 into 2 into 12. Further simplification may be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 6 and finally the prime factors will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Thanks ma'am. Fun Math Teacher Rosie has a table on the board which shows numbers from 1 to 100. She now draws another table to list the prime numbers from 1 to 100. She fills up her table 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 in the first row, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29 in the second row, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47 in the third row, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71 in the 4th row and 73, 79, 83, 89 and 97 in the 5th row. Prime numbers can be divided by themselves and 1. So, they have only 2 factors. That was fun!